Hello, welcome to this lesson of engineering mechanics and statics. Here we're going to do a very quick review of basic trigonometry uh, and basically talking about some triangle things that you learned either in trigonometry or in geometry a long time ago. Um, you know, I don't really have to do this section because I know that everyone watching this has been exposed to it at some point or another, but I just think it's gonna make for less pain later on if we just spend just a few minutes talking about a couple of very important things. So again, if you watch this lesson and you're completely lost and don't know what I'm talking about, then you need to probably stop and go back to trigonometry and learn a little bit. Uh, because a lot of mechanics is going to be reading diagrams and drawings and trying to, uh, effectively, you're going to be looking for triangles all over the place to help you solve problems. And you'll see what I mean when we get going. Um, let's review a little bit about triangle trigonometry. So we have our famous triangle, right? And this is a right triangle. And what I mean by right triangle means this angle is 90 degrees. So we put a little square there to represent or to signify that this is a 90 degree angle here. And when you have a triangle with one 90 degree angle in there, um, and if you label everything else as follows, you can do some interesting things. This angle, let's call it this angle uh, here that's basically uh, opposite of, of this right, uh, uh, of this 90 degree angle here, we're going to call it angle theta which is just a, like a variable, we could call it angle x, but usually you call it angle theta. Uh, and then we're going to label the longest side of our triangle, which is called the hypotenuse, we're going to label that C, and then we're going to label this side A, and we're going to label this side B. What you choose to label the lengths of the triangle doesn't really matter. What I really want to do is make sure you understand the difference between sine and cosine and tangent, uh, because they're going to come up every problem we work. Now the sine of this angle, if you remember back from trig or geometry, is when, now this, by the way, it only really applies, uh, this definition we're about to show only applies to right triangles with a 90 degree angle. So the sine of this angle here is going to equal the opposite side of the angle divided by the longest side, which is the hypotenuse. So it's opposite over hypotenuse. So what we have here is the sine of this angle is B over C. So it's the opposite side, meaning opposite of the angle, divided by the hypotenuse. All right. And because we uh, have defined it this way, I can rewrite this if I want to, and you'll be doing this later as well. You can say that side B, this side right here, is equal to the hypotenuse times the sine of the angle. All I did was re rearrange this equation. Basically, you multiply by C and it comes in front of here. So B, which would be left behind, is equal to C times the sine of this angle. All right. The next thing we want to say is the cosine of this very same angle, the same